Now, Dar Chrysler. Welcome to the Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council's Cabinet Meeting of Wednesday, the 8th of November 2023. And can we give a, a nice warm Merthyr welcome to our new 151 officer, Liam, to this first Cabinet Meeting. Chrysler. Um, please note that this meeting has been recorded and may be broadcast via the Authority's internet site. The images and sound recordings may also be used for training purposes within the Authority. Item one, apologies for absence. Fantastic. Item two, any declarations of interest? We have none. Well, if we go to the main body of today's proceedings, um, item three, revenue budget monitoring 2023-24, quarter two, to consider the report of the Chief Executive, um, Councillor Andrew Barry. Thank you, Chair. Uh, so revenue uh, budget monitoring 23-24, quarter two. Uh, we have a projected revenue upturn at the end of quarter two, as at the 30th of September 2023, uh, projected for the financial year. Uh, to be a net revenue deficit of £908,000 compared to this time last financial year when we were projecting £2.471 million. This year's figures were considered a budget board on the 25th of October this year uh, and detailed to your Appendix 1, page 11 of your papers. Uh, there are only five budget environments detailed at Appendix 2, uh, page 12, um, followed by a considerable analysis of the major variance, variances um, considered at Appendix 3 between pages 13 and 17. Section 5 outlines directorate direct projected surpluses and deficits focusing on future expected pressures. Within social services, we have a projected underspend of 127,000. Uh, within education, uh, from 5.11, we had a projected overspend of 941,000, detailed at 5.14. Uh, economy protection stands at a deficit of 45,000 with some positive news of lower than anticipated demand for temporary accommodation, uh, producing a surplus of 82,000, but with pressures from the office accommodation man security at unit five and lower than expected rental income. Uh, leaves us in a pro with a projected deficit position. Neighbourhood services stands an overspend of 26,000 with governance and resources projected to outturn as an overspend of 105,000. We continue to monitor our financial position very carefully, as we have in previous years. The, uh, the pressures are from still predominantly from energy costs, pay award, capital financing costs. Uh, the economic and financial landscape is calmer than this time last year. Remember last year, Liz trusted mini budget. Uh, inflation at 10.1%. Um, October 20th, Liz Trust resigned. 25th of October, Rishi became the new Prime Minister. Chaos for a year. Um, central government sending us uh, copious amounts of levelling up funds with the Welsh Government indicating stark choices in relation to revenue settlements. Just another day in the life of our Welsh Council. Uh, it was forecast uh, financial year 23-24 would be uh, one of the darkest periods in this and every other Welsh Authority's financial history, described by the WLGA's finance subgroup uh, paper led by John Ray as potentially catastrophic. Uh, and let's see where the autumn statement takes us on the 22nd of November, our provisional settlement takes us on the 20th of December. Um, and so to the recommendation, recommendations, um, of which there are three, 2.1, the revenue budget monitoring report for 23-24 financial year based on the second quarter projections be accepted. 2.2, budget environments outlined in appendix to be approved. 2.3, managers to urgently address projected uh, budget deficits within the respective service area, uh, identifying all possible remedial measures to offset pre uh, predicted deficits be approved. I move the report, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Barry. Have we got a second, please? Councillor Simmons. Second in the report, Chair. Thank you very much. Um, have we got any questions? Councillor Hibbs. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, question to uh, uh, Councillor Barry. Um, the overspending education uh, budget, is that down to own school transport?
It's down to home school transport, but also it's down to the additional demand of the ALN net and these um, the additional support funding provided to schools for children with a, with additional learning needs. Thank you, Sue. Um, I can only speak for uh, being a Dulles uh, and Panther uh, representative. We've got to put a bus on to come to school because of the works being done on the Valley Road. Um, just because uh, the Welsh Government can't put a, a, a bridge over the A465, we have now got to put uh, extra buses on, which is £500 a, a day, I believe it is. So can we, somebody, write to the Welsh Government whose, uh, whose uh, project it is to ask for them funds to be paid back to us as a council? I come so I am in dialogue with um, the relevant uh, Welsh Government Directorate um, in relation to this and there's we've initially written a letter to that effect um, but they wanted further information back in the process of gathering that and uh, liaising with them but ultimately we want to continue that dialogue to ascertain can we have supported funding in relation to the additional cost pressures for us. Thank you Councillor Hughes. Any more questions? No, any comments? No, um, just just one for me. Um, yeah, um, I've been in conversation with Ellis over that very issue, Councillor Hughes. Um, something that we we are working on um, because we've got another two or three years of it yet, and um, those costs are only going to increase. So, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Um, so let's take that to the vote then. I think we're voting on the system. So can I just make sure everybody is clear? The button on your left is in favour, the button on your right is against, and the button in the middle is abstain. So can you please vote? And that's carried. Thank you. Um, item four of the agenda is the capital monitoring report for 2023-24 quarter two, and it's Councillor Barry again. Thank you, Chair. Um, capital Budget Monitoring Report 23-24 Quarter 2 uh, is for the period ending 30 September 2023 for both core and externally funded cap, uh, capital projects, along with the expenditure projections for 23-24 financial year. The total of 83.533 million, inclusive of the underspend of 109,000, uh, is projected for both core and grant funded projects. Uh, for 23-24, based on opposition as at the 30th of September. Core capital programme this year should see the administration spending 44,864 million. Um, 6.884 million uh, has been incurred on core funded projects at the end of the second quarter. There is a 46,000 pound overspend uh, detailed at Appendix 1. Amendments to this budget are outlined at Appendix 3. Externally funded um, projects secured additional funding through uh, external grants, predominantly through Welsh Government, UK Central Government and Sports Council for Wales, totalling 38.441 million to the end of the second quarter, detailed in Appendix 2. Um, 12.995 million has been incurred on externally funded projects to the end of the second quarter. This is put uh, a projected shortfall of £155,000 as an underspend. Uh, all other external funded projects are detailed at Appendix 2. Um, so despite the dire financial crisis, uh, we find ourselves, uh, I think you can see, uh, making progress towards better lives for the people of Merthyr Um I'll take the recommendations at 2.1, quarter two capital monitoring report for 23-24 be noted. 2.2, the budget amendments for core funded projects outlined at 4.1 be approved. And 2.3, variances to the budgets per paragraph, um, 4.2 be noted, Chair, I move the report. Thank you, Councillor Barry. Have we got a second there, Councillor Hughes? Like second that, Chair, please. Thank you very much, Councillor Hughes. Have we got any questions on the report? No. Any comments? No. Let's go straight to the vote then. Thank you very much.
Item five of the agenda is the uh, regionalization of Sport Wales funding to consider the report of the Deputy Chief Executive, Councillor Michelle Simmons, has taken the report. Thank you, Chair. Um, the report author, Dan Bufton, and again, it's the regionalisation of Sport Wales funding. This follows on from an information report that we received um, in September. The summary of the report, um, the report below summarises the current makeup and funding of the sport development team and the forthcoming regionalisation of Sport Wales funding. The report outlines the current position in terms of structure, geographical breakdown and timelines linked to the process. And the report also highlights any impact and changes on delivery for Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council. There is one recommendation and that is the formal agreement of Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council's long-term involvement in a new regional model be approved. I move, Chair. Thanks, Councillor Simmons. Have we got a second? Thank you, Councillor Jenkins. Have we got any questions? No. Any comments? No. Oh, Councillor Barry. Yeah, it's, it's a great report, Chair. A couple of options in there. I think the, the, the recommendation, as Councillor Simmons has outlined, is the correct uh, recommendation for us. Uh, we need to be centrally involved in this and have a say in the future of sporting facilities and grants coming into this county, but uh, with view to the support we've already shown to the to the sporting, uh, sporting ethos within the town. Well, I concur with that, um, Councillor Barry. Yeah, definitely. You know, we 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 we're putting money into a into our facilities. Yeah. Okay, let's take it to the vote. Thank you, Monitor Officer. Um, item six on the agenda is an information report um, into the snakes and ladders, the other pandemic. Um, it, it's worth it's worth a read, definitely worth a read. Um, if anyone wants to have a look at it, great piece of work, really. Um, item seven, uh, do you have any other urgent business? I haven't any, so that closes the the normal session for now. But we need to win the exam session. So can I have someone to call for section one hundred, please? Section one hundred, yeah, chair. Have we got a second there? Happy to second that. Can we take that to the vote then, please? Thank you, Karis. OK, um, item nine. Acquisition of properties at Lower High Street, Merthyr Tidville, to 